Hi everyone, it's Kyle with Rangeland RV and today we're going to be checking out a brand new 2021 Cherokee 294 GE BG. This is a bunkhouse floor plan. It does a really unique bunkhouse in the back here with a massive outside kitchen. Tip to tip, this one comes in at 36 feet, 8 inches and about 7,000 pounds dry weight. We're going to take some time to go through, check out the floor plan and all the features that make this a great family bunkhouse trailer. Okay, we're going to be starting in the back of the trailer in the bunkhouse area. This is a really cool option to kind of have two separate sleeping areas. Also, you're not getting a super long, massive trailer, but you still have tons of sleeping space for all the kids. So when you walk in, the top part here, this is a twin and then you have a single. So it's a really big sleeping area so you can fit two kids up there. Or if you have one larger kid, they have their own space as well too. Cherokee does 110 outlets and USB ports wherever there's a sleeping area. These USB ports will run off your battery power. So if you're off-grid camping, you have that option. And then uh, you have your own LED push button light up there. These are the nice teddy bear mattresses, super soft. And you have a ladder to make easy access. This just tucks in and out. Uh, this floor plan features a fireplace. So this is an electric space heater. Uh, it gives off heat. So on this cooler day up here in Canada, um, it'll warm up the trailer really nice. It's also an electric source, so you're not burning through your propane if you want to just take the chill off in the morning. Now, if you go over here, you have also another little private bunk area that's separated. So you have two other twins back here. So if you have two other kids that want their own space, they have their own charging stations and light, that's a really cool option. Or say you have four kids with girls and boys um, and you want to have some separation, have their own space, you have that option with this floor plan. Uh, and then you have some storage back there as well and your emergency exit. Coming around here to the super slide, uh, you're going to have your full U-shaped dinette. This is about seven feet long, so it's great for additional sleeping area. Uh, again, if you have more adults that want to come in there, that folds down to a nice sleeping area. Then you also have these full extension drawers. They're massive. So each side does that. Plywood, 5 8 tongue and groove is your floor. This is how what the floor looks like as well too. So you can see that plywood there. Full extension. And then you got your couch that does fold down into a sleeping area, but it is a bit shorter because they're giving you the massive U-shape. So it'd be a good secondary sleeping area for kids. Um, you got USB ports back here, all LED lights. The slide is also backlit with a blue light, which is really cool. In the daytime, it doesn't look that good, but nighttime, you can just leave that light on and still move about your trailer, have tons of natural light coming into the coach. Now Cherokee on these main slide windows do something really cool. So they're called a zebra shade. So you can have a full blackout shade or move it up a bit and then you can bring in some natural light. And they are roller shades. So this is gonna darken up the coach. Coming into the kitchen area, uh, you're gonna have Cherokee's chef's kitchen. So your countertops, anywhere there's a surface, so countertops and your table. It's a pressed membrane, which means there's no T-molding edging there. So if you ever, it's not going to flake off or unglue or water can't get in there um, and wreck your countertops in it. New this year for the 2021, Cherokee went to a dark cabinetry with gold handles and then all the walls are kind of a lighter gray color. It looks really nice, really modern in here. They also went black stainless steel. So black stainless steel farmhouse sink, massive sink you can get in there with a hot pot, do dishes, you're not going to melt your sink because it's not plastic, residential high-rise faucet, again all the comforts of home, and then new this year because of COVID, uh, you have you can fill this with um, hand sanitizer or down the road when you want soap, uh, there's a little refill bottle under there, nice little touch. Nice big chunk of counter space back there for appliances. Two outlets right by the front door. Also the front door turns into like kind of a charging station. You just throw your phone, plug it in there. So you have those extra light outlets. Give you tons of lights in the kitchen. Two down there, two more up there. And then you have your LED one in the hood top. Hood range fan. Glass cover on your 
stove top here. So a lot of families were using this as a cutting board, which is, isn't a food safe surface. So this year Cherokee gives you uh, a bamboo cutting board. So some magnets on the back. So the magnets will latch on to the stove here and then hold your cutting board in place. And then you, uh, you can use this space for cutting because a lot of times you might be outside barbecuing or cooking out there for the family. You do have a 22 inch oven with a light built into it, or sorry, this is a 17 inch oven or an extra bread box if you don't use it. And then the microwave above. So Cherokee went standard across the board to the new 12 volt refrigerator. This guy's about a 12 or a 10.9 cubic foot uh, 12 volt fridge. 12 volt fridges are uh, becoming more popular and you're seeing them in more models. Some benefits are it's going to get colder a lot quicker using less energy. You're going to have more fridge space. And then once it does get down to temperature, you, it's very efficient, doesn't use a lot of power. We equip these ones with a 50 watt solar panel. Um, now 50 watts, I wouldn't recommend running this trailer for a long period of time, but it's always going to be trickle charging your batteries. Um, and then you can look at upgrading your solar packages or your batteries if you are doing more off the grid camping on this guy. Down below here, you have a battery disconnect. So that disconnect, when you leave your trailer, flip that, and your solar panel is always going to be charging your battery, which is a nice feature. And then the converters, Cherokee, is safe for lithium ion batteries if you want to upgrade to a lithium ion system down there. And then you have your propane and CO2 detector below. Next to the fridge is massive pantry, especially for a family unit like this. This is huge, full pantry, tons of extra storage in there. You're going to be bringing lots of food, clothes, additional items. You have the room in there. And while we're in the kitchen area, another new feature this year is going to be the subwoofer. So Cherokee upgraded uh, their sound system to include a 10 inch or sorry, 8 inch 200 watt subwoofer in the roof here. Um, then you also do have built in speakers with Bluetooth streaming, which I'll go over when we go to the media player system. Um, got the couch touched on there. Now, what I really like about this floor plan is if we flip around, where your TV go is going in this trailer, uh, it's on an angle. So if people are sitting in the couch or the dinette here, you can still view your TV at a really nice angle. It's not a total ne neck breaker. Anyone sleeping in the bunk area can see that as well. So it was a really cool, nice living space. Now. At the front door here, this is your media player system. So you have inside and outdoor speakers with two zone, zones, Bluetooth streaming. Up top here is your battery voltmeter. So you can see where your battery usage is at um, with the solar if you're off-grid camping as well. And your main control board here, so new this year, they went to the LCI-1 control. So you can sync this to your phone and anything you can do on this panel, you can do on your phone as well too. So your slide out can be controlled from your phone and your awning. These are, and some of the lights as well too, not the water heater or water pump. Really cool feature about this though, is say you're in a really tight campsite and you want to put your slide out, you can go outside, watch your slide come out because you can do it by your phone. Or your awning, say you're laying in bed and you're like, oh shoot, forgot to put the awning away. No problem, just grab your phone, press a button, it's going to come in there. Um, new as well this year across the board, Cherokee went standard to 15K AC, upgraded from the 13.5 air conditioning unit. Now we'll move up front here. Nice big window that does open for airflow in the hallway here. Now they put the zebra shades on your main windows and then the rest are a pull down pleated shade. And you're going to have your massive bathroom up here. So you have the door from the outside to get in here, which is nice if the kids just want to go quick into the bathroom and not walking through the whole trailer. You have a corner glass radius shower. And then standard Cherokee always does corner medicine cabinets and sinks. So they give you a massive sink here, again with the pet press membrane. But it's really big, you can get in there with your hands, wash your face, use that. And then above, because this is a family unit, you have tons of storage above and below for the bathroom area. And they give you some hooks already on the wall there for hanging up towels. And then inside the shower here, you have the extra skylight there for some headroom, but really big glass shower, tons of room to get uh, soaped up. And you're not uh, having the 
shower curtain touch your skin, get stuck to you, or water splashing on the floor, exactly. Um, Standard 2 Cherokee puts in Max Air fans or Fantastic fans in all their coaches. So this is great. I know it's hard to get excited about a fan, but any second time buyer knows the value of this. This thing will move a ton of air, about 900 cubic feet per minute throughout the trailer. So when it's not super hot on, super hot out, you can just leave that on and it'll suck airflow throughout the trailer. That's also why you'll see gaps in doors, especially leading from the bathrooms. To, so when that fan's on, you have that airflow circulating throughout the trailer. Coming to the mass bedroom, master bedroom, so you have a door here, but you also have a door off the hallway. So two entrances. You have USB M110 outlets on either side of the bed. So tons of room for CPAP machines uh, or plug in all your phones and devices. Again, both windows will open for airflow and have the pleated shades in here. It's also prep for another TV in here if you want to add a TV. Same with the bunk room, there's a TV prep there. You have your hanging wardrobes and then overhead storage with doors on it. Cherokees, all their face or, or cabinetry face fronts are all real hardwood. And then below the bed does lift up for some additional storage below. They do in-floor heating throughout the trailer so you get nice even airflow. And let's jump on the outside there and check out some features. So on the outside here, so Rangeland RV, we have two locations, one in Calgary and one in Red Deer, Alberta. Check our website out for more information, availability, pricing, all that good stuff. If you have any questions about the trailer, leave it in the comments below and I'm happy to answer them. Um, I'll start on the front and work our way around. So we do, it does come with two 20 pound propane tanks. We just take them off so they don't get stolen. Uh, we include a battery with all our trailers. We have no added fees here. We also include cleaning so it gets a full detail. That's all included here at Rangeland RV. Something new this year, Cherokee actually uh, dropped the power front jack. So they always move money and put different features in there. They went to the quick uh, drop jack. This is super quick to use. One, if you are hand cranking it, it twists super fast. Or if you flip it, the same drill bit that you can use on your stabilizer jack, so three quarter, will fit on here and it makes, you can just hit it with the drill, brings the trailer up and down super quick. So you're getting more features on the inside for maybe something that um, can be easily done on the outside. Or if you want a power jack, give us a shout. We can easily add that on there. Uh, front pass-through storage, or sorry, front storage. Got the tanks in there. Um, there's an LED light and it goes all the way through there and underneath the bed you have access to. Manual stabilizers on this guy. Again, get a drill, shoot them down, drops down in seconds. Cherokee, it went to these nice black solid doors, really nice, clean looking. Um, on the outside here, you have your large power awning with LEDs on the backlit there. And then you have your outside entertainment area. We'll get to the kitchen in the back, but it's prepped for a TV back here if you want to add one. You got your cable and satellite and your outdoor speakers, which they do have blue lights in them as well too, which is hard to see, but black tank flush. Uh, so you can hook a hose up to it, it'll spray out the inside of your black tank, which is a nice feature to have, make sure everything's nice and clean. Cherokee flips all their axles from factory, so you're getting tons of clearance. That's why you also get a three-step on the entrance there. If you ever look in between Cherokee or Grey Wolf, Grey Wolf don't flip their axles, so you get a two-step. Cherokee is the larger big brother of them. Back door at your main entrance here, you get the solid uh, more ride entering steps that just flip up into the coach. They're super sturdy when you're getting in and out of the trailer. Now to the main feature of the outside here is this massive outdoor kitchen here. This is the ultimate outside kitchen. This is gonna be where you're spending your time underneath your awning and your outdoor kitchen here. So you got tons of storage area here for all the barbecue flippers, tongs, all that stuff. Then you get this massive fridge freezer combo so combining this with about 11 cubic feet inside and this massive one outside there's tons of fridge space uh, for the big family freezer great for popsicles frozen goods um, fridge obviously if you're having some beverages when you're out camping 
this is only 110 power, so you do need to be out of power of sight or looking at solar or in inverter options. Now, new this year as well, they went to this barbecue burner option. So you can actually cook directly on this surface or you can just put a pot on there and use it normally as a burner. A lot of families are more using a barbecue compared compared to like the two burner setup. So this is more multifunctional, giving you those options. If you want to throw a couple hot dogs on there for the kids, you can do that. Now, normally this one would come with an ice maker right here. We pre-inspect all of our trailers when they come in from the manufacturer and we noticed that one isn't working properly. So it's uh, got taken out and it's getting replaced under warranty. Uh, but we do full inspections when the trailers come in and then another one when they go out to the new owners. You have hot cold water out here and then some additional storage up top for the ultimate outside kitchen with your 110 outlets. This is just a service access underneath for your water lines there. And then the propane quick connect just plugs in directly underneath the trailer there. On the back side here, we have uh, the flip down storage rack, uh, which flips down is good for about 200 pounds. So you can uh, put bikes, generator, firewood cooler, all those large items. You have that additional storage and then your spare tire goes on the back. Again, we just take the spare tires off uh, so they don't get stolen here on our lot. It is a 30 amp prep trailer. So you get your 30 amp power cord, comes with the trailer. Back here to your dump side. This is just for your outside kitchen. Because the bathroom is so far up, they can't run the lines together. Uh, but this is just your outside kitchen here. So it's your second gray tank. And then up here, will be your dump valve for your bathroom there. So you have your gray and blacks up there which are both accessible uh, when the slide out's out for easy use. Uh, you have a cable and a convenience light on the back side of the trailer. And then up top here, you do have an outside shower. This has hot and cold water. Uh, you got your city water connections, fresh water connections, and then you have a fast recovery six gallon uh, dual propane and electric hot water heater on this guy. Thanks for taking the time to check out the brand new Cherokee 2021 294 BEGE. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Check out our websites for any pricing availability, and we're happy to help you with all your RV needs at Rangeland RV.